Hey YouTube, hey YouTube. I hope you can hear me. Hope you can see all my face. Yeah. I am so, so, so sorry that it has taken me so long to get back to do a video, but I'm going to try to stack them up so that I always have something to give to you. Woo. And they're out. But as promised, here are my June favorites. Just things that I think are cool for June. Um, yeah, so let's get a, a look. My first thing is an eye pencil from MAC. It was suggested to one of my new favorite people that I subscribe to um, here on the YT. It is MAC eye pencil actually eye coal and it is in teddy and it goes really nice with okay, let me take it off I know you can't see my eyes I don't know if you can but um, I have on a color from NARS it is in it's called Kalahari and it is an eyeshadow duo and it's the more purple of the two and then I have sketch and my outer V and this eye coal pencil is wonderful it makes my eye look better much better than a black would be it's too like cop with black but this is more subtle and it's a brownish a brownish color like it works well with uh, grenadine from NARS any reds purples this is it. It rained like hell this morning and now it is sticky, humid again. Oh. But yeah, use this. And this also goes back to one of my other new favorite things. Her name, I follow her here on the YouTube and her name is Farah Dukai. She's Indian. And she is such a good makeup artist, YouTuber. Well, she's not a makeup artist. She's just, I think, an ordinary... I don't know. I'm just going to be quiet. I'm going to put her um, web YouTube page in the link below. She also does a blog. But she does really good makeup. And she's funny. The next thing is called Being Elmo. It is a wonderful DVD, and as you can see, I got mine from the library, so if you, you know, like to test drive things before you actually commit, or if you, you might have Netflix on your smart TV, hey, it's, I think, out on Netflix, but I was so far in the wait list queue that I, when I found it at the library, I was like, I'm going to get it. This is such an inspirational movie, documentary. It is Being Elmo. It's narrated by Whoopi Goldberg. And um, it is about the black man. You can see him right here, down at the bottom. He is the face, I mean, he is the voice, and he's the puppeteer behind our beloved Elmo. And it's just an inspirational story about how he grew up in Baltimore, Maryland, and how from an early age of eight he knew he wanted to be a puppeteer and just how he navigated through life can you imagine in the early 70s being a black guy who liked making puppets he made his own puppets as a young kid you know so it's just really inspirational about following your dream I may come back and do another little video about this but it is I mean I want to buy this put this in my permanent collection it's so good so whoop. this is a book that I'm reading called imagine and I'm only on the first like gone through the first two chapters and it's so 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 amazing um, talks about imagine how creativity works and this is just a great book so far the first one of the first chapters is about bob dylan's brain and i only know the, the basic 
know, Bob Dylan songs, you know, I forget what the classics are, but you've heard them. Um, but how he thought and how right before he made like his classic album, Rolling Stone, I'm sorry, it's jungle hot in here, so you hear outside. I'm so sorry about that. Um, he wanted to give up and totally quit the music business and just it gets into how he started to think to um, then go on to create his most influential album, Rolling Stone. Um, this is going to be good, so I might do some other YouTube videos just off of things I'm pulling out of this book. And then I think I got this free issue of Afar magazine and you know I love talking about traveling. And I think I might go on and subscribe to it. Um, looks good. You know, they they can get my twenty dollars. I'm gonna try them out. I've done National Geographic, so they're awesome. Where travel afar, where travel can take you. So I think this is something cool you might want to look into. Um, let's see. And because I'm such a travel nut, I finally booked a trip. I am going to be Toronto bound in late September. So I do have a few Canadian viewerships. So if you want to give me some things to do in Canada, I'm so excited. I booked yesterday night with uh, Porter Airlines. So I'm so excited. And I just got to now figure out my hotel accommodations and what I'm going to do. But I, I can't tell you. I want to do CN Tower. I want to go see the Mac flagship megastore in Toronto. I hear it is good for interiors and I love a good interiors in a store. So I'm excited about that. No, seriously, it is like jungle hot. And I need to put in my air condition. I need to buy another one for my living room. Um, so that is like, I'm going alone. So. I've never traveled in a different country by myself, so that's going to be a different experience, and I'm just excited. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked all my favorite things that I thought were cool in July. Um, I'm going to make a few more videos while I have the energy and the stamina, so 